BZH here from Big Zach's house. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Lego Jurassic World set number 76942, the Baryonyx Dinosaur Boat Escape. This is priced at $80 at full retail price. Uh, 308 pieces, you're going to get four minifigures, you're gonna get a baby Velociraptor, and you get the Baryonyx um, Dinosaur here. Um, for me, looking at this set, when I uh, saw it in the store, I was definitely turned on by the boat. Surprisingly, I don't have any boats for my LEGO collection in general, considering I do mostly Star Wars. I don't have a LEGO boat, so now I have one, and I'm really getting into the dinosaur figures. I think the big fig dinosaur figures are pretty cool. Um, so we're gonna go over the set, the figures, go over the box real quick, and the manual, and I'll let you know if I think this is worth picking up uh, at $80, or so if you wanna pick it up on sale. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in buying this set, I will have an Amazon affiliate link uh, below. Uh, feel free to use the link free to you um, to help support the channel for any of your next LEGO sets. Without further ado, let's get this review started. All right, real quickly, taking a look at the box here. Again, you have your four minifigures here, your two dinosaurs, shows you the boat here. Uh, it says boats really float. So apparently both of these boats do float. The, the little mini boat here that you build and this boat, so that's pretty cool. Taking a look at the top of the box here, just shows you all the figures. Side, pretty much the same, nothing too special there. Bottom of the box, nothing going on there either. And then the back of the box here just tells you some of the dimensions of the set. So this is 40 centimeters, 15.5 inches from left to right. Just shows you the boat in water and some of the uh, playability functions here. Again, it says boats really float. Shows you how to put the dinosaur in there, some of the different playability features. So, not too crazy. I don't know if I'll save this box, to be completely honest with you. I saved most boxes, so we'll see, but I just don't know if it's worth me saving this. I gotta kinda let go a little bit. Uh, now we'll go over the manual real quick. Okay, so a real quick overview of these manuals. Um, 76942 here in the front. Uh, I like the size of the manual here. You have your little barcode there if you would like to uh, do this digitally. On the back, just your typical thing there. First page is just show you how many bags are. So there's three bags in this set. Shows you everything that comes with it. And here, I'll kind of fast forward to the end. So it looks like there are 59 pages here. I'm telling you how to put it together. And again, that's gonna be 59 total steps to complete this set. Now, this is always like my favorite of these manuals. It's kind of taking a look at the back to see some of the other sets that were released in the same wave. Um, I don't have all of these sets, but I do plan on getting most of them, especially ones that have the, the big dinosaurs. I actually want the, this one. I want the one with the, uh, with the Carnotaurus and the baby Triceratops. So they'll definitely be added to my collection. Um, even the four plus one, I kind of like those. I'll stay away from the Duplo, but there we go. This is the entire manual. Now we move on to the figures and the set. All right, taking a look at the set here now. Um, I do like to display all of my figures on the actual set, so I do have them on the set right now. So I'll kind of move this dinosaur to the back. Again here, this is where you're gonna put the dinosaur in, so it has these features that you can go up and down to place a dinosaur. These do go up and down, and then again, the boat came pretty much you know in in this big piece with all th this put together, and you just you you built everything on top of it basically. Um, this is a sticker here, and then another sticker over there. Kind of get a look at the front of the boat. Again, these pieces do go up and down. Uh, pretty cool looking uh, boat here. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, my only concern was the the price point at eighty dollars, but taking in consideration, you get the actual put together big boat piece. Um, not so sure if I was upset about the price after thinking about it like that. You are kind of getting that that big piece there. Now we'll take a look at the front here. So some of the play features here. This piece right here does twist around. And then this lifts up and down, so you can kind of put, you know, your characters in there. There's a little driver's seat there. And then this whole piece in itself lifts up as well. So 
pretty easy to pull up. It just, it's basically it stays right there um, in this little spot right there. So not a bad feature um, from a play feature standpoint and then it clips back on uh, very, very easily. So overall, nice looking, uh, nice looking boat here, ship, whatever we want to call it. Um, pretty happy with it. So now we move on to the uh, minifigures and we also have two where I forget this little boat that you do build separately. It has a couple little eggs in there. This pulls out like this. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of like these little builds. For me, I'd rather just have it all in one one build, keep it all together. Um, and I posted the little Velociraptor there. With two of the minifigures, just gonna kind of see how it looks. Go all the way around, show you the bottom of it. But pretty interesting to see if these things actually float. I'm not so sure how I feel about putting them in water, but maybe for a future video, we'll see uh, We'll see if these things actually float. There's a, little, there's a little side video there to test it and see if they float. All right, now we'll move on to the minifigures and I'll wrap up this review. Okay, so we'll start off the little minifigure portion of this. I'm going over the dinosaurs first, since that's probably what interests most of you. Um, that's what pretty much interested me when the set. So this, um, this he's a baryonyx. I think that's how you say it. Um, his arms do go up and down like so. His head does swivel. Um, there's no stickers. This is all just put together. It comes in like um, the arms come off and the two legs come off. And then you can see right here uh, the tail and the head. And this is all like one piece, whatever. So this goes up and down. So pretty cool. I actually like the teeth, looks pretty sharp there. So overall, he's a pretty cool looking dinosaur. I like the bigger ones, so I can't wait to get my hands on the other ones. And you can move the legs around however you want to do it to stand your dinosaur up. So pretty cool dinosaur. Um, very happy with this. This is pretty much, you know, this and the boat is what drew me to the set. Now taking a look at the little mini Velociraptor. This is just a little figure that uh, came just as you see. It wasn't anything you had to put together for it. I'm gonna see his face there. Pretty cool little guy. I was happy to get my hands on it. We didn't already have one of these, so um, not a bad little figure here. And then, so going over the, uh, the people now. All right, the first figure we're gonna go over here is Owen Grady. Uh, one of the main characters, as you know, in these movies. Go all the way around, show you his uh, his his uh, legs do have some some printing, as you can see. On his back, Let's see if he has two faces. He sure does. So you'll get two printed faces with Ellen, and you can see. Pretty cool looking figure. Um, I'm not really that interested in like Jurassic World minifigures, but you know, they come with the set, so we gotta go over them. Uh, the next figure here, it says he is a, uh, a guard. So, you know, just a thrown in character here. You can see he has some printed leg pieces here, nice printed torso. Comes with the baseball cap. One face in this one. This is actually a pretty cool figure because you can get the little like the Jurassic World uh, on the back there. So I actually like that. That's pretty neat. Then we'll go over. All right. So next figure is Yaz, and she does have the uh, the life raft there and the little walkie-talkie radio thing. And see her. And we're gonna pick pop the hair piece off. She does have two faces, which I like. You can see the back here, and then we're gonna pop this off. So you can see what her torso looks like without having the life vest. There you see, nothing too special. I like the purple that's mixed in there on the legs. It actually looks pretty good. I like that. I actually like the scared face better. They're always my favorite. So we'll pop that back on her. Now we will go over the final minifigure here. The final minifigure here is Darius. Pretty cool character in the movie. And then he comes again with a little life vest. Let's see if Darius has two facial prints. He sure does. I like it. I always like when they have two prints. Uh, just like adds to it for me. We'll pop the head off, pop the vest off. And we'll kind of see what his torso printing looks like. Uh, I like it. You know, nothing too special, but 
I like the uh, the little tooth right there. That's pretty neat. All right, now we went over all the minifigures. So now we will wrap this video up and let you know what I think. All right, we're gonna wrap up this video review of set number seven six nine four two. Uh, please, if you're new here, before we get into the rest, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. And again, there will be an Amazon affiliate link below and the pinned comments. Uh, help support the channel, free to you, for your next LEGO set or for this set. Um, that, with that being said, um, I think this is a great set. Um, what I did not want to do was pay full retail price. I think at $80, there's a little bit on the pricier side to me. Um, not just from a piece count perspective, I don't like to look at the sets as you know price per piece, more or less what you're getting. In this set, you're getting four mini figures, you're getting a really cool dinosaur, and you're getting a little mini Velociraptor. On top of it, this boat, I'm sure, costs Lego more money to create, and that's just considered one piece of the whole set. So if you were to build this boat with separate Lego pieces, I'm sure the piece count would certainly jump up, like at least a couple hundred pieces to just build this boat. Um, so. What you can do right now, I did get it on a very deep discount uh, on Black Friday. It's no longer on the same discount, but you can get it for sale on Amazon right now. I think it's at $70. It might get a little bit cheaper, but it also is coming to the point where it's gonna be retiring soon. Um, so if you want this set, which I do recommend, uh, you're gonna to wanna to pick it up ASAP. So thank you for watching. Again, please give this video a thumbs up. Lots more videos to come. Um, having a lot of fun doing more Lego things and different collectibles. So thank you for watching, thank you for your support. Thumbs up, thank you.